Oh, it's full of tourmaline. This thing is huge. No way. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow, look at that. It's cleaning up. Watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Look at that green pink. Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in California at the Palomine and Ocean View. We're looking for tourmalines. Let's check it out. <laughs> As early as the 1900s, people were coming in, mining out these gems and minerals deep within the earth. At this location, there's a couple of options available. You can sift around as you see here. We'll talk about that a bit later. But first, we're going up and around the back and dig through some old, awesome tailings. What? You can see these huge crystals that actually come out of this property. They have this one for sale. So if you ever want to come check it out or come dig here, this thing is huge. Walking down to the area to dig here. What an awesome view. Dylan, you can't take the pieces out of the wall. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that face. They got a huge quartz cluster built into this wall. How awesome is that? And as you walk down, look, there's even more. What? Look at this. This is crazy. This is huge black tourmaline. It's full of tourmaline. Check this out. This is crazy. So there's that much tourmaline here that they just decided to build their walls out of it. We're walking down to the dig area. Anybody that's working underneath you, anybody that's working at the bottom of the slope, keep an eye on the top. So we had our safety talk, and now it's time to dig some tourmaline. There's a good many areas to dig here, so we're gonna walk around. James has been here a few times, so he's going to show us some of the better areas to dig. Look at that. So what you want to do here is just go through these piles and look for color. I was just looking down here. There's black tourmaline all over Swirl. But I found a piece of green right here. Check it out. You can see a touch of green with a bit of mica. I'm going to just start looking around and checking the surface. Because who knows? This stuff has just been exposed and brought out with a machine. Flipped around. And look right here. There's already a quartz crystal. It's not crazy, but it looks like it might have some color in there. Let me see here. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, ho. clean that one up a bit and look at that you can see the pink mont marillonite really cool all right guys we're about half an hour into digging started a small hole here finding some purple lapidolite which is really cool and i'm actually getting a little bit of green tourmaline you can see there but check this out as i'm digging i just seen a face of a quartz crystal look right there so let's see. Ooh, this is a good size. Okay. Oh, it's on the main. Oh, oh dude. Way. No way. Oh, sweet. oh, 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 oh man. Got some iron oxide. Wow. Oh. It's actually got that. Uh, what's that stuff? What do you say? Uh, the lapidolite. No, the, oh. the clay. More. Mont 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 Marillonite is basically a type of clay. At this location, as you can see in this piece cleaned up, it turned a pink color. It got stuck in the last layer of crystalline growth. What? <laughs> so we'll look see. at that. Maybe like we got another quartz crystal. Just a face. Oh, it's got some 
yeah. some pinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, this might be a good spot. Oh, yeah. Cool. We're going to keep digging. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're meeting awesome people. Here's Ron. He's one of the field guides here that can help you out. Hi, how's it going? Uh, digging great. I'm loving this Montmorillonite quartz. Yeah, he just walked up right as soon as I found this piece, and we were both just amazed. Oh. Really fantastic. Oh, boy. Good job. And occasionally, you can find Lepidolite, which is purple mica. It's really beautiful. And we've got a piece right there. Look at that. You can see the purple colors. Really neat. This would be all the good lipidolite that we found throughout the day. It's a lithium-based mica, and from this location turns purple. Sitting here digging right next to Karen, and she goes, oh, look at this. It's, it's purple. It's pink. Yeah, but you gave me the spot to dig. And look at this. It's a pretty good size pink tourmaline. Maybe we'll put a little water and clean it up. Oh, wow, look at that. It's cleaning up. That is watermelon Beautifully, tourmaline. look at that. It's actually a watermelon tourmaline because you've got a touch of green, so we're gonna call it that. Yep. But look at the color. Beautiful, what a great find. Congratulations, yay. It's <laughs> a really nice quartz crystal. Look how clear. I know, I didn't know. There you go, yeah. So Tina finds this really nice large chunk of pink term. Look at that. She said we could wash it off. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh wow. look at oh, that. That's awesome. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. They'd make a nice cap. Are yeah, it would. Can... So came across another quartz crystal here. Look at that. Let's see. This one's just milky, but still pretty cool. Continuing to follow this area of rock, looks like we got about a two foot section here and just continuing to follow it up, some old tellings. Oh, he found him one. Yeah. Let's see. Just to do a little rinse. Nice, that's good. Oh, yeah, there you go. That is the pink. And that's good, pink, uh, pala pink. Yeah, pala pink. As pink as can be. We might let you hang on to that one. I don't know. <laughs> what we got there? Look at this thing. 174 pound monster. 174 pounds. Is it really that big? Get down there, Dylan. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty big. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Look at this thing. Back down at the bottom, you can see this area is a great spot to bring your family, kids, people of all ages, really. Steve is going to show us the technique here if you guys want to come and dig this situation. So you'll go to the center and you fill up your bucket. All right, we're going to take it back, see what we got. Yes, yeah, right. So what he's going to do is just kind of do a pre-sift, pull out the big pieces, check them out, rinse them off. Because you never know, sometimes these big chunks can have some crystals attached to the matrix. I don't see anything right off. Oh, look at that. I did see some pink in there, I think. Yeah, I thought I saw some pink. A little bit of Montmorillonite. Look at that. Montmorillonite. I'm going to get it right one of these days. Montmorillonite. Little baby tourmaline. Oh, look at that little term. So you look at that, just one bucket, and we're seeing color. A little bit of graphic granite. Okay, like yeah. Microcline felt. Okay, yeah, microcline. Got some blue tourmalines on here. Oh, look at that, you guys. Looks like a they have a little blue. Of that cat's eye effect. See that yeah. uh, opaqueness underneath? It's a little shiny. Yep. So now we got one more here, which. Who knows what's going to be in this one? This is where you might get your really gem stuff. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Right off the rip, a little sliver of aqua. Oh, and I just dropped it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow. Look at that purple mica, the lapidolite. That one's super purple. Oh, and I dropped it. But look at that aqua. And look at this. So you can really find some cool stuff here. And you're digging the tellings from this location. Black turmoil with beautiful skin. Nice. So not only do you have awesome opportunities to find crystals, you have awesome opportunities to buy them as well. Check this out. This huge tourmaline on this huge cluster. And some great cool people working on the scene, Steve, Chris. So Steve is gonna show us a few nice pieces that came from this location. Check out this spodumene. <laughs> nice. That is just sick color. As you turn these crystals, they actually show color in different manners because of the way the axis is facing. And it shows more color or less according to how you turn it. Pink spongimine is also known as kunzite, as seen here. These three men were the early discoverers of kunzite, but it was actually George Kunz that it was named after. You can see the beautiful colors of the variety of tourmalines that come out of here. Look at that green, pink, watermelon. I mean, look at that chunk. Oh, look at that. It's got the green. Wow. Sweet. Appreciate it. Washing up the finds from the day. Look at that. Look at that. Just right off, you can really see the purple lapidolite come to life. Really cool. Just finding that stuff was fun. I'll tell you what. And you can see all this black tourmaline, some of it probably having some green color, quartz crystals. I mean, this is so much fun. This was actually mine and my nephew Dylan's finds for today. I think it was like four hours, five hours, something like that. Don't quote me. You can check out their website. There'll be a link in the description and you can join on one of these digs yourself. The black tourmaline on Matrix, also known as Swirl, is also pretty fun to collect. Look at that. So I'm going to have to clean up a few of these pieces. So I'm going to clean these up. We're going to hit these with the needle sprayer. Let's check them out. To my surprise, the blue really started to show up on these with a little bit of green and pink. I didn't see much with all that dirt. Even the tourmaline, look at that. Lapidolite mica turned out super purple. Wow. Great day hanging out with everyone. You guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. We're at Hallelujah Junction. I've been wanting to come out to this location for like 15, 20 years. And guess what? Finally here. <laughs>